It's been like 5 years since AMD has truly released a new high-end desktop CPU, and 2017 seems to be an exciting year for AMD and us enthusiasts finally. Ryzen has risen and I'm here to review it for you guys and give you my opinion on this release, even though I'm a bit late to the party once again. After all, I wasn't sent a review kit and had to get the retail chip and a decent motherboard. Today I'll be taking a look at the Ryzen 7 1700X. Currently at the time of writing the script, it is priced at about 420 US dollars. But the real question is, will it finally outperform Intel CPUs, mainly the i7 7700K, rendering most likely but gaming? The tests will be run with as well as without SMT enabled, it's what you have suggested me to inspect since in certain games, this allegedly should increase frame rates. It's been a long time since I've been so excited to cut the seal on a processor box. Inside of it, not a stock cooler though, just another small packaging in which the CPU itself, the sticker and the installation instructions are in. Specs, the AMD Ryzen 7 1700X codename Summit Ridge goes into the new AIM4 CPU socket. 8 cores and 16 threads with SMT simultaneous multi-threading, 3.4GHz base, 3.8GHz turbo clock along with another 100MHz boost by XFR, if sufficient cooling is detected. 95W TDP, 14nm process, 4MB of L2 cache, 16MB L3 cache, 64GB max memory capacity, dual channel DDR4 42666 memory controller and as promised by AMD, a fully unlocked multiplier for overclocking. For this review I'm installing the 1700X into this ASUS Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard featuring the X370 chipset featuring a 12-phase VRM power design. With the X370 PCH we are now seeing the latest connectivity even on an AMD platform. About time. Keep an eye out for my review of this crosshair motherboard and the separate overclocking video with the Ryzen 7 1700X. But for now benchmarks at stock with SMT enabled and disabled respectively. AMD is back! Yes, finally! I've been waiting for this moment for years, after all competition is always good and everyone should welcome it, as it usually lowers prices or at least prevents them from climbing. Now as powerful of a monster the Ryzen 7 1700X may is, it by far is not perfect and has some serious weaknesses. One of them the memory frequency issues. Most of my DDR4 kits wouldn't run stable or wouldn't allow the system to post. I was sitting in front of a lot of black screens before I went for the max stable 
RAM speed, which turned out to be only 2133 MHz. Also, with my three RAM kits I've tested, I found out Ryzen currently doesn't like having all four DIMM slots occupied. I ended up with black screens and had to clear the CMOS. Which is very sad since I've tested the rest of the CPUs with RAM speeds of 2666 MHz, and the one time I managed to play around with 2666 MHz with Ryzen, the frame rates in games improved drastically. So Ryzen in general really benefits a lot from high frequency memory, it's just a bummer it can't handle it well enough as it is now. But hopefully in the next few months we'll see more Ryzen optimized kits on the market. In productivity aspects such as video and image editing, Ryzen is a beast, especially when considering the pricing compared to Intel's i7-6900K Extreme CPU, which I unfortunately didn't have on hand to test, that should only be a little bit faster than the 1700X. In Cinebench the rendering performance sure is amazing, but I wanted to see how real video editing is handled, and the 1700X blew all the other CPUs away on my list, making my i7-7700K kinda appear slow a processor I would have considered to be more than suitable for my video rendering purposes. Where I have some mixed feelings though is gaming. Don't get me wrong, the gaming performance is pretty good, a huge performance improvement over AMD's previous FX processors. But in the majority of games I've tested, the Ryzen CPU does fall back behind Intel's speedy 7700K processor and even older 4770K back from 2013, that is at 1080p. At higher screen resolutions such as 1440p, the gap slowly closes but that's mainly due to the fact that my GTX 1070 is the bottleneck. Sorry, that's the fastest GPU I have. Now this kinda makes sense. The 7700K has a much higher IPC performance than the 1700X does. The lower clock speeds don't help either in that regard. Spoiler alert, overclocking does help gaming performance a bit, but doesn't do wonders. Furthermore, 4GHz is the absolute maximum I managed to get the chip to run completely stable at. Although I should note that highly multi-threaded games such as Crisis 3 really make Ryzen shine, where all cores are fully utilized. And as for SMT, having it disabled does help improve frame rates in some games, but I wouldn't recommend turning it off since it has a massive impact on the chip's overall performance as it is with Intel's hyper-threading. Those small FPS gains simply aren't worth it. The temperatures are pretty normal, the 1700X isn't exactly a cool running chip, neither is it a hot running one. And compared to the offered rendering performance, Ryzen's power consumption is pretty damn impressive making it a fairly power efficient chip. So now that you know all about my results, who should buy AMD's Ryzen CPU? If you do a lot of productivity tasks, such as image and video editing or in general, use programs that heavily rely on multi-threaded performance, AMD's Ryzen is the way to go. If gaming is what you're mainly doing, Intel's i7 might be your better pick. However, both processors are really good at rendering and gaming. It's just that one is better at gaming, the other better at editing and rendering. As for the price performance ratio, the 1700X at $420 has a really good one, especially compared to Intel's 6900K that currently costs well over $1000 and offers only a little bit more performance when it comes to rendering. I can definitely recommend the AMD Ryzen 7 1700X CPU, but due to the lower frame rates in games and those RAM issues, it's my silver. Award. What do you think about Ryzen? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one!